Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Real Estate Lead Follow-Up Challenge. I uh, have a lot to cover and I'm so excited that you made it here today. Uh, this has been um, a labor of love. My experience as a real estate broker and uh, now actually a CRM owner um, that I understand how hard this business is for all of us. Uh, I have lived your pain. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what we're going to do today tell you a little bit about me and then we're going to dive right in because we have so much to cover and I'm going to give you opportunities to ask questions so if you want to ask the questions uh, throughout the, uh, the webinar I will come back to them as we end the day today so I can make sure and cover everything for you if you have any questions of the way things are you know might work in your system or whatever because this is for anybody in any CRM so that's the key we want to be sure you know is that you know, I've worked in many CRMs and almost every single one out there for the real estate industry. And what I can tell you is, is for the most part, they all work the same, for the most part. Um, they're not all created equal, however. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, if you're making a decision on buying uh, or getting into a CRM, whatever CRM you happen to be in, um, we wanna make sure that, you know, you know that what I'm gonna tell you today is going to help you in any CRM that you're in. Um, one second, my phone is beeping and I always want to make sure everyone can hear me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes uh, I get someone caught sending me a text saying, I can't hear you. Give me a sec. I'm just going to go ahead and turn that down. All right, everybody. So let's get rolling. So first of all, I did hit the record. So I think we're good. Let me make sure it's running on the record. We are. Okay. Awesome. So the first thing is, and I always do this in every training I do, I want to make sure this training is for you and so that you understand why it is you're here and make sure that you go, you get an idea of where we're going with this. So, and if you've been in any of my other trainings before, you might have seen me ask these questions, but I want you to really think about what you need to focus on as we're going through the training today. So, if any of this stuff sounds familiar to you, then this training is going to be very helpful for you. So first of all, are you generating leads any way, shape, or form through organic, sitting open houses, farming, anything like paid lead services, which many of us are doing Facebook ads, Zillow, landing pages, maybe Google ads, doing YouTube, whatever it is. What are you doing to generate leads? If you are, this is a training for you. Your database is non-existent or possibly a disaster area. And there's a very good chance of that. And don't feel bad because we all had to start somewhere. And what I also know about databases is that even though it may be cleaned up today, tomorrow it could be a problem because you have to stay on it every single day. Are your prospects on loose sheets of paper? notebooks, binders, spreadsheets, napkins, outlooks, crummy CRM that you actually are not using. Could it be that's where your leads are? Because if you're opening up your CRM every day and just staring at it and not knowing what to do, that's not good. So we want to help you through that. You're using some kind of email drip campaign, but you don't know what it says or how to edit it. So we are using other people's systems. We're using other people's drip campaigns and somebody installed it for us or it was already there and I don't like it. I don't know why it's not sending out what I asked it to do. I don't know what the timing is. I want to change that template. Is that you? This is good training for you. Are you paying for leads such as Facebook, but you're not providing the consumer what they asked for? So you're doing an ad, you're offering a list of homes, you're offering a buyer guide, you had someone else set the ad up for you, and then next thing you know, they're turning on a campaign in some CRM that you were told to use, and that CRM is not sending what the people signed up for. Nothing's going to aggravate your consumer more than not sending what they asked for. So if that's you, this is a great training for you. You believe that taking your business to the next level absolutely depends on implementing a better long-term engaging campaign, follow-up, strategy, whatever it is. You need better content, you need a strategy, you need to know how to do it, you need to get it set up. And frankly, you're probably freaking out by the fact that you might have to do it and get it set up, but you know you need to do it. I'm gonna guess if you didn't say yes to this, I don't know why you're here. <laughs> so, Okay, you need to be more productive and you need to close more of your sales and your leads and all of these people that you're bringing into this database 
or maybe you don't have your database set up yet and they're just on Excel spreadsheets and you need to figure out how to get these people a lot more organized, right? Um, you need to get this organized and set up so you can automate it better. You are currently fried, lost, confused, tech challenge, overwhelmed, overworked, paying too much for leads. You have no personal life like I did, not enough income, and you just basically need to close more. So whatever you're doing physically, financially to generate leads, you need to close more of those because otherwise it's a big fat zero or a waste of money. Your return of investment, your return of all the time you're putting in sitting open houses, it's all going down the drain, right? We wanna help you with that. So this is a question I get all the time, and that is why do our leads suck so bad? They're so bad. I use the word suck because honestly, you hear about people going out to lead generate and you always hear the word suck. I don't know why people just don't say, the leads aren't very good. I don't get that, but they always say suck. I know this because I've been training this for a long time. So why do our leads suck so bad? Why do we think that we're spending money on leads and, and they're not converting? You want to know why? Let's admit it. Most of the time it's because our follow-up sucks. And by the way, it's not your fault because we did not roll out of the womb learning to be CRM professionals. We didn't learn to write drip campaigns. We didn't go to school for this stuff. We went to school to learn about meets and bounds and where the water rights are, am I right? <laughs> they didn't teach us this stuff. And unfortunately, most of our brokers, now we might have some brokers on the, on the line here, so welcome if you are. I'm not here to badmouth you because I'll tell you what, I am one too. <laughs> but I'm gonna say, most of our brokers or our leaders don't really know how to do this. Most of us didn't learn to do these things. We learned to do the legal part of this business. So when you consider that at least 75% of our day and our job is spent figuring out where our next business is coming from, why aren't we spending more time to be better at this? So I'm really I'm extremely happy that you've chosen to come into this training today because what you're gonna learn will probably, even if you learn one thing today, and I know you're gonna learn more, but if you learn one more thing today that's going to make your business better, even if it's just give me a tag that's gonna help me track my business, then how much better will your business be? So I'm glad that you're here. You're here for a good reason and I know what it is. So today, the outline of our challenge, I wanna make sure we're covering everything that I promised Plus, so we've got two days. Today is day number one, hour number one. First thing we're gonna do is talk about the five things you must know and plan to do before you get started. So you gotta get prepared, right? Choosing the right CRM for you and your real estate business. So somebody might have said to you, this is the CRM you should use. Well, I guess, I'm gonna guess right now that either you're challenged with the CRM you're in, you don't have one, or you don't know how to use it, someone told you to use it, and you have the slightest clue what's going on, or maybe you do, but you really want better content and figure out a way to really fine tune that. So that's, we're gonna cover, okay? Creating responsive email texts and drip campaign templates for the highest level engagement that we can get. We're gonna go through that. And it's all from pretty much my experience working tens of thousands of internet leads um, and my, you know, do this, don't do that, <laughs> okay? Because I've been there and I tried it all. And actually there's no exact science exact for everyone. Um, but I can tell you that from coast to coast, I've helped agents, thousands of you, with this process. And for the most part, 99% of the time, we're struggling with 99% of the same things. So it actually makes it easy. It doesn't matter what market you're in. Now, the thing we don't realize is that tracking and managing our database is one of the biggest problems we have, thinking we have to go get a CRM. Now we've got people in here and things are starting to happen. How are we gonna track all that so that tomorrow, if we have 30 minutes or an hour to come in and do some prospecting, who are we gonna focus on? Because I don't wanna see you waste your time on people that don't give a poop about what you're doing. I mean, you're gonna be sending stuff, it's gonna be automatic, it's gonna be better stuff because I'm gonna give it to you, but we wanna make sure we're identifying those hot people every day. So your, your CRM is not just for sending stuff, okay? It's there to help you manage your business. So that every morning, 
you get up and this is your office. You're gonna open your computer up, whether you're still laying in bed like many of us are or looking on our phone, and we're gonna say, well, who are we gonna work with today if we have time, right? We're gonna track it all. And then I'm gonna go through the tips and best practices because you all got a drip campaign and the majority of you also wanted the seller campaign, so good on you, that means you got seller listings or want to get seller listings, we want, or seller leads, we want to make sure that we're explaining to you the best ways to implement it. Now, understand because we're all in different CRMs, I'm going to show you some examples on best practices, well, how it works in your CRM versus that other CRM versus my CRM versus whatever CRM you're in. It's going to be a little different, but for the most part, I'm going to show you the fast and easy, quick way to get your campaign built in your system the best I can, knowing that I've worked in almost all of these CRMs, they almost all act the same for the most part. I'll, I'll talk to you more about the differences in timing and the things that you can and cannot do in different CRMs uh, when we go to talk about building the campaigns. But anyway, that's what we're gonna cover over the next two days. So let's get started. First of all, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Patty Sampson. I've been a real estate professional here in the Phoenix Metro Scottsdale area since uh, 2004. At the height of the market, I got my license. Quit my job cold turkey as a, a single mother of two teenage boys and um, went, I was a paralegal, uh, and went and got my real estate license. What was I thinking? So that first year I sat around on my thumb, twiddled my thumbs for the first eight months trying to figure out how am I gonna make this work? If I can't make this work, I gotta go back to this office environment that I pretty much hit the glass ceiling on and realized I have to find a better way to run my life and my business. So I got my license and uh, figured it out. I worked for, started working for a company uh, who started to give me hundreds of internet leads a month. Now. It sounds like on the surface, a wonderful thing, but to be honest with you, 100 to 150, 200 leads, depending if people left, they were shoveling the leads over to us. And this was pre-Zillow, at least pre-Zillow the way it is right now. How am I doing that, right? How did I, how was I gonna manage that? I had no idea how I was gonna manage it. Uh, absolutely no idea how I was gonna manage it. So what I had to do is figure out how can I automate this? And my life was going to pot while I was trying to take care of my kids. I opened, I, I um, picked up the phone nine times during dinner one time, and when your teenagers call you out, you know you got a problem. So the other thing is, is I had to give them, you're gonna, don't, don't you know, fall over listening to this, but I had to give them 65% of everything I did. And so when you close 42 sales, my first year working those internet leads, I closed 42 deals uh, as a single mom <laughs> running around in 110 degree heat. Um, and when I only brought home $82,000, I can tell you right now that although I learned, I, I learned a lot, I made also all, no money, all of that experience has brought me to you today because I don't want to see you get into the same boat I did. I hope you get a chance to work a lot of leads. You don't want to work that many leads, and you certainly don't want to give up 65% of everything you did. So I went, on a pa I went on a mission from that point forward to figure out how can I do this. It's hard. This is a hard business. There is no doubt. So since then, I've opened my own brokerage, <laughs> uh, and uh, I realized I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of compliance. I would rather be here talking to you about how to sell. <laughs> so hated compliance. Anyway, I ended up working for a company locally, and I was the leader of their uh, huge team, uh, Leads. We worked all the leads. We made sure everyone was you know, closing. We had drip campaigns, all of that stuff. Today, I come to you after a number of years uh, training in other people's CRMs, which some of you might recognize me from the other CRMs I trained in. And um, uh, over the past year, I opened up my, the doors to my own CRM because I realized that it was really, really important for me to be able to, number one, have a passion even more than I have, and I needed a home for my own content. So I have an uh, uncountable number of, of content pieces that I have, and you're gonna get them. You're gonna get them in a version that you can copy and paste anywhere you want, but you will hear about the CRM later, um, but I do want, to, you know, want you to know that I'm here to help you no matter what CRM you're in, okay? So just understand that. Do I want to tell you about mine? 
dang, yeah, I do. So I'm going to, but because I think I'm going to be able to help you a lot more than I could just, here, here's a drip campaign. Good luck. You know, I have way more I can offer you. But let's get on it. You guys ready? <laughs> Turn off your phones, do all, you know, please, because I have so much I want to share with you and I'm so excited to be here. So if you would just chime in the notes and tell me. Now, if you've seen me do some training in the past, I always bring this slide up because I think one of the most important things is we need to realize that what we're doing on a daily basis is very hard to stay even keeled. So if you have this, and I know you do, you're in, however long you've been in real estate, you might have a wonderful day today and you went out and showed homes and tomorrow they're gone. What happened to them? Told me they wanted to write an offer. They're gone. You know, you're going up and down and up and down and up and down and you think you did something wrong. Unfortunately, what we don't realize is that we're putting too much of our um, income and concern into how we think those consumers think about us, right? And what, it, we, the, what we're not realizing is, is that these people have their own agenda. And if a lead came in today and they called you or you talked to them and then they, you don't hear from them for weeks on end, we're immediately thinking it was something we did. And you guys, it's not like that. You know that if you've been doing this a while, it, you can't, like whatever's going on, especially today, we're in COVID, you know, and I'm in the height of the COVID market here. Um, it's tough. You know, we're having a hard time just trying to figure out what we have to do on a daily basis to survive. We can't be reading the minds of these consumers. So our goal is to get this line as straight as we possibly can and as high as we possibly can. But I'm going to tell you now, if this is new to you, this is never, ever going to be high and straight all the way across. This is our lives as realtors. It's hard. So I'm here to try to help you settle this a little bit so that you can get yourself more automated, sending better stuff, and identifying who you want to spend time with today instead of killing yourself trying to communicate with everybody in your database when a good portion of them are never going to work with you. They just aren't. And don't take it personal. They won't. It's just the way it is. Because number one, who knows? Today they're here, they got a loan. Tomorrow they lost their job. You know, they might have lied to you, which we know that happens. All right. So let's let this know this is normal for everybody, including me.